All right, gentlemen, I promise to be absolutely honest in this video. All right, so here's something I think you should know I want to be that guy. I've had optimism for a very long time. If you want to prepare yourself for some unfortunate news, this is not the movie for you. That's unfortunate, but who knows? Perhaps someone else will reveal the truth to you. In this video, I believe it's crucial to emphasize one thing right now, AMC stock is going to crash and burn, and you will either lose everything you own or suddenly become extremely wealthy. That officially is Monday, so that may be tomorrow. 12, it's 2024, yet for some reason it feels like 2023. It appears to me that Roni Rona was two weeks ago, at least from where I am. Though it was two months ago, you get the idea. We ought to start by discussing the numbers. Anyone can say whatever they want to about Mark controlling everything, and I believe that has been the case. In my opinion, AMC is significantly undervalued and that there are phony shares in circulation. I can quantify that and provide evidence to support my statements. After following AMC every day for about 2.5 years, this is what I've noticed contrary to what we had hoped would happen in the end, it doesn't appear like shorts were ever rewarded or required to cover their short positions. According to Algebra, AMC will thus fail if its stock price remains between $5 and $8. The range makes no difference. A large portion of AMC's $9.3 billion debt is due in 2026. It's not a good position, which is why Adam Aaron and the AMC execs are afraid so much right now. In 2026, roughly $2.5 billion, give or take a little bit more. We could figure out the precise amount, but because AMC is far from being able to pay back that debt, I don't think it matters all that much. Things don't seem promising for 2026, even if they refinance. The markets are aware of this ahead of time. We will discuss it in more depth in a moment. A 300 million share issuance is possible for Adamar. I don't think it's reasonable that Adamar would tell the markets, hey, we're going to sell 300 million shares as soon as possible, since the stock would likely plummet to $2 or even $1. Assuming that this subsequent round of sales results in the distribution of 50 million shares, Assume Adam Aaron predicts that AMC's shares will drop to $4.50 or even less. Let's help AMC a little bit more than that. Even if AMC were to obtain $225 million, the debt that is due in 2026 would still remain unpaid. Even if AMC sold all 300 million shares for $4.50 apiece, they would still only be able to raise $1.35 billion or less than half of its 2026 debt. One factor, in my opinion, that is currently depressing AMC stock is the public knowledge of the company's ability to issue 300 million shares, its debt load, and the fact that the debt is due in 2026, a somewhat distant future. A few issues with the figures exist. There will never be enough free cash flow or revenue for AMC to even approach this amount, and I don't want to be that guy. They must sell shares in order to achieve that, saying that isn't a smart idea until you know that AMC produces something truly amazing, which doesn't seem likely at this time. AMC's stock may soar after six fantastic months and 12 even better months. And some short sellers could argue, yeah, but we got, got to get out of this out of this uh, short position because it's probably going to do well over the next six to 12 months and we don't want to carry losses potentially even into a new year in 2025, right? We're better off covering now at multi-year lows and that sucks because that is the only lever that Adamant can really pull right now that is tested to, to work right. Uh, they did this in 2022, AMC stock went up like 80%, which 80% from here is not enough, but I do think AMC stock is still hundreds of perks sold short. I think a commitment to not duding shareholders would probably send AMC stock back to about 10, maybe 1,112 back to where you were in November, around $11 per share, right, right before AMC reported good earnings, but really crushed it after the dilution. Um, yeah, probably back into that range, let's say. Market liquidity comes back and let's say people start buying stocks again, maybe the economy ultimately avoids a recession, and you know things are going okay for AMC fundamentally, then the stock could rally even higher than that, and that is the only chance that AMC has to stay alive, let's be honest. Five years from now, if Adam Aon does not do what I just laid out AMC, at least the stock will not exist, will the company exist, will the theaters exist, probably, I mean, I'm sure someone will come in and, and buy AMC theaters at you know bottom barrel prices after they go through bankruptcy proceedings. Nobody's going to step in and take on $9 billion of debt, plus you know cash out shareholders, that's not going to happen. So, I mean, I, 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 I know it sucks. I know you know people don't want to hear this. I, I don't want to hear this. I was hoping it did not come down to this. I didn't think AMC would. Would be at $5 per share, but I also did not think Adam Aaron was going to be fiscally irresponsible with AMC. 
and to AMC shareholders, I didn't think that I, I used to, you know, give Adam Aaron a lot of credit and a lot of credit and a lot of, um, you know, um, free range, if you will, I figured he was going to do what was best for AMC. And the, just the last couple of months have really showed me ever since the court proceeding, that's not the case, right? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And let me know if there's anything else that could cause AMC stock to go higher now. I think the beautiful thing about this is that I think Adam Aaron will do the right thing. At the very least. I'm hoping that Adam Aaron says, yeah, we got to get AMC's stock up because maybe his lawyer's advisor, someone else is telling him like, hey, you're not going to be able to pay off your debt. You're, you're, you're either not going to be able to dilute shareholders because I mean, the next time you do that AMC, stock is going to be a penny stock right on like $3 per share. If they dilute another 40 million shares at that point, you're not even bringing in money that even makes sense to do that anyways or you just don't dilute shareholders and don't make an announcement, don't make a commitment, commitment because what it really is, is a commitment to not diluting. So if you say you're not going to dilute shareholders for six months, let's say you're not going to dilute shareholders for six months, you can get in some big trouble for saying that and then ultimately doing that and, and diluting shareholders if you say you're not going to. So I, I hope Adam Aaron will make that commitment hopefully soon. Um, I mean, because he really messed up in the last couple of months. And I, I, I think he understands that as well. I don't know if he knows that's the only way to fix it, though, or try to give AMP a chance to fight the stock price of AMC. Could rise significantly from here if it appears to have a chance. Unfortunately, the price will decrease if Adam Aaron doesn't give AMC a chance. The reason this is a horrible idea is that, well, what if? It's unfortunate that the markets rallied so much after AMC's earnings were reported, but AMC itself did not. The broader markets performed admirably, and if we hadn't experienced that dilution even after the recent days of selling and weakness for some of your small mid-cap stocks, AMC would probably still be in the teens right now. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, but I'll admit that I'm getting a little nervous because shorts will never cover a stock that looks like it will go bankrupt. It would take some kind of insane announcement, an unexpected rally, or incredibly positive news to get shorts and AMC to cover that, which would alter the stock's trajectory. Everyone, including me, believed that Carvana was going bankrupt. Carvana's stock saw a low of $355 today, but it is currently at $47. That low was hit in December of 2022, so 2023 was a great year for Carvana. However, if Adam Aaron wanted it to, there would be a similar setup, and that is what I fear. Although everyone acknowledges that the situation is difficult, I refuse to remain silent in the face of such obvious warnings. Thank you if you watched. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next. Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comments section below, and please make a sincere effort to subscribe to the channel. While it's true that things are tough, I'm not going to stay quiet when faced with such clear warnings. Appreciate it if you tuned in. Until we meet again, I wish you a fantastic day. Put your honest effort into subscribing to the channel, and tell us what you think in the comments area.